Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So today is probably going to be quite a quick video but um, I wanted to film this for all of you guys who are asking me questions about my Bloxburg town because I get a lot of comments about it um, every single day about like different textures, colours I'm using in the town, how I built it, the layout, how I build certain things like little details in the town. So today I'm showing you all of it. So all of the people who are asking me for the layout I'm showing it in today's video and I'm also basically like giving you a guide of how I built my town like completely everything so before I ramble on for too long let's just get into the video once I've finished the town I'll do like another updated version of this video so make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss that but once I update the town completely I'll do an updated version of this where then I will like update all the textures and stuff that I've used um, for like all the new buildings first thing I'm going to show you is I think I guess like all of my textures and stuff so a lot of you guys were asking about this road and how I built it and then also like the textures of it. So I actually got this road from another YouTuber. I forgot their name and the video but I will link it in the description or if I forget to link it which I do a lot of the time I'll put it up on the screen so you guys can find it but this road is technically not mine so I have to give credit for that. I was very heavily inspired by it and I just like saw the tutorial of how to build it and I was like that's so cute so I kind of just took it but well, not took it. I, I um took inspo from it so that's where my road is from if you guys want to build it then that will show you guys like a complete tutorial of how to build it because in this video i kind of have to go quickly because there's quite a few things to show so i'm not going to show you the tutorial because technically it's not my tutorial it's someone else's so i obviously don't want to um discredit them um and then for the pavement the pavement was also part of that video i think but i'll show you guys the texture anyway because i think it was kind of unclear in the video. Um, so I colored it in mid gray and the texture is asphalt shingles. I don't know if I said that correctly, but that's what the texture is. And it's like this sort of brick um, pattern. I think it's actually like a roof tile, but it doesn't really matter. It, it just looks kind of cool. And then for this line or like the outer part, cause this is actually a roof that I've done for the pavement. Um, but again, the tutorial will show you exactly how to build it. Um, the colour is medium stone grey and the texture is concrete. Um, I think I may have adapted the colours of this slightly, I don't remember. But if you, in case you want to know my colours exactly that I've used, for the carpets I use sand green and then and the texture is concrete and then the line here on the carpet is just white plastic. The exact white that I used is institutional white. And then for all of these, the textures I use is twisted wood and dark stone grey and then this is um, a custom colour apparently. I don't know what this colour is but I made it, I don't know. And then um, it's classic carpet texture and I think that's the same for the road. Um, the colour is really black and then the texture is classic carpet. Sorry guys I'm literally whizzing through this but I just want to give you guys all the information um, that you guys need for this since I did get a lot of questions. Um, okay what was another one? Um, Textures for the buildings, again, this is the same asphalt shingles, shing, is that what it's called? Yeah, um, and the colour is institutional white, that's what I used for these buildings. I use this texture a lot, so if you're ever looking at some of the buildings, you're like, what is that texture? It's probably this one. And then for the pillars, um, what pillar is this? I'll give you guys the information because you guys probably want to know. Um, this pillar is the recessed square pillar. Re recessed, yeah. Because it technically has like the inner part, which is the this bit. And then the outer part, which is that. So when you colour it, it has like a double texture thing going on. Um, so I used institutional white and brick for the outer part. And then for the inner part, I used slate and institutional white. This is probably really confusing. I think I'm talking really fast, but um, that's how my brain processes so that I remember everything that I have to put in. So I'm so sorry. If you guys need to slow the video down or pause it, then feel free to do that. I know I'm probably being really annoying and talking really fast, but I do this a lot. Um, anyways, <laughs> um, so for this building, oh, actually technically for a lot of these buildings, I use just the normal brick, but this is a custom color. Um, I don't remember what I did, but it's, if you take, it's pretty similar to sand red. Oh, it is sand red. I don't know why it's coming up as custom color. It's sand red guys. So for the brick color, I use sand red. And then for this color, I use linen and then again the same brick which is just called brick um so yeah but i do use a different brick for certain wall trim details so for this 
um, as a wall trim, which by the way, if you guys don't know what wall trims are, they're like these little things that come on the walls. You can find them in the build section. And then if you click wall trim, you can pick the ones that you want. So you can have ones like this or like this, because I know that some people are confused about these. Um, so this is a different brick texture. I colored this with seashell in case you wanted to know, but this is groutless brick. So it's like a more jaggedy, like um, unorganized, smaller brick texture. And I also used it here as well. Um, I would just reuse my textures so that everything looks kind of co like cohesive together. But um, you guys can obviously like adapt this however you want because um, I kind of don't know what I'm doing. This color, in case you wanted to know, is medium stone gray, but it's the same texture, this one. Again, um, this is a different brick color. Same brick texture as just the normal brick, but apparently this is custom. It's either rust or burnt sienna and then I just adjusted it, but you'll get the same look if you use one of those. And then there's another thing that someone asked. Oh my gosh, my brain isn't working. I'm gonna have to check my notes in a minute. Yeah, basically this is the same like basis as just like concrete, but then, oh, oh my gosh, concrete, but then the wall trims I used is the same groutless brick. Um, So I just like make textures using wall trims. I feel like that's my main tip. If you see a wall and it just looks really bare, like kind of like this, which I'm about to use for an example of how to build something in a minute. Um, And it kind of looks a bit bare. So if you literally just go and get a wall trim and texture it in a different texture to the, um, to the wall itself if you just change the texture and color it in the same color like do you see the difference between that and then that so that's just a little hack from me um i think that was mainly it um excuse all of this that's going on guys i'll do like an update to um town tour in a minute well not in a minute um another time that you guys will probably see probably in the next like week or so another person was asking about like the wall details that i use like the plants so these are the hanging um potted hanging vines i just hang them from the buildings to give them a bit more depth but this is the overgrown wall vines which i actually use these a lot when i want more of like a full like leafy look that doesn't make any sense but um you can see the difference between just like the vine and then the whole entire leaf wall thing um but that's just for a bit more detail so that's how i do that um i don't think i got many questions on this but i think it's because it's quite complicated to build which it took me a while i literally just did it from like my brain i was just like what should i i want to build something that's like japanese inspired and then i just kind of like I don't know, I just kind of built it and it just worked. And then I was like, right now I'm not changing it because I have no idea what I just did. And then if I go back and try and fix it, then um, I won't be able to build it the same way again. So I can't really answer that many questions on this because I kind of just built it in a rush and then it ended up looking good and I completely forgot what I even did. But um, the textures are pretty self-explanatory. They're just all the same textures that I've used before. Um, just the colors are different shades of browns and grays um and this is some weird blue color i don't know what color that is but um i will try and like uh, when i post the layout which i'll be pu putting the layout somewhere in this f um in this video probably once i'm done explaining everything else that's coming up um so when i put the layout in then you can try and copy it as best as you can but i think it's going to be a bit confusing hopefully not but there's just a lot of like blockiness like especially in this area Anyways, um, I think that was all for textures and colors. Next, I'm going to show you how I built these thingies, these like overhang cafe things that um, a lot of people have been asking me about how I built these little overhang things. So I'm going to show you how to do that. It's actually pretty simple once you know what you're doing and like you know the things I use. Um, these are just my little examples. There's two different types that you can build. So you can build this one, which is just the basic one. I just call it like the default one. It's just like this one overhang thing and it just looks simple, but it's also really cute though. I still use it a lot. Or you can do this one, which is more for like the cafes and it like actually has like the overhanging part. So I'll teach you how to do both. They're, they're literally the simplest things ever. They just kind of look a bit like complicated, but they're not too difficult. So all you need to do is go to decorate and then go to storage and click the oak shelf um, and just place that in the center of your two windows or your door or wherever you want to place it. And then um, you want to go to build basic shapes and then pick this one the horizontal wedge i think you need um hold on i think you might need advanced placing to do this 
the resize tool, I think. So I'm sorry if you're on, if you don't have any game passes, but I think you could kind of do it like this instead. But if you have the resize tool, which is kind of essential for this if you want it to look the exact same way as mine. But yeah, I didn't get this as a tutorial. I kind of just came up with it, but there's probably someone else who's done it before me to be fair, because I'm... You kind of just resize it until you like it. I kind of make it like leaning backwards into the building as much as possible and quite short. And then um, you just color. I like to use this texture, which is called metal roof, um, because I think it just like looks good um with this but you can use any texture that you want you could literally do it as like this or anything but i just think that this like has that sort of cafe look and then i just color it whatever color i think suits the building the most so i also color um the under part as well because then it just kind of like hides it a bit so yeah i'll probably just color it the same color as i did for this one because i think that, that just looks better so there you go that's how you do that one and then if you want to do this one all you have to do is just do exactly what you just did or what i just told you to do before so make this one and then um once you've made it then you want to get um if you go to build and then structural you just need to get this wooden plank, the vertical one, and then you want to place it um, from the corner to this little corner of the triangle here, to this one, and then just recolor it to the same color as what it is there. And then you have the overhang. So it's pretty simple, but it looks really, really good and is it's very easy to do. And once you've built it once, you don't have to build it again. You can just copy it everywhere that you want to want it to go so now I can just like um now I can just like copy this and then I can like put it on any other building that I want so once it's built once you don't have to waste time building it again so there's a tutorial of how to build those for everyone who was asking I think there was something else I'm gonna check my list but I think I'm might be time for the layout like showing you the layout of the town I'm not sure oh yeah one other thing was decals which i got a lot of questions of where i got um okay sorry guys i was just getting some notifications on discord if you want to join my discord server the link will be in the description and then that way i can actually talk to you guys properly and you guys can communicate with me a lot more than you can in the youtube comments anyways um yeah there was one other thing which i was talking about what was i talking about decals um so the main questions i was getting was about these blossom decals here and then these ones i made these two decals but for some reason roblox deleted them but they're still showing up on here i don't know why so i'm not going to mess with them i'm just going to leave them as is but roblox deleted them and i also deleted them from my computer so i don't know where they went but where i get all my other decals from is at ellie decals or at ellie's decal i think it's ellie decals so if you if you go on to actually i'll show you guys how to do it but basically ellie has um two ballet decals that are very 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 similar so if you guys want that then you can just go to hers and get hers instead because i have no idea where mine went and i'm very sorry um but i'll show you guys how to find the decals anyway so i'm currently on roblox and if you go to the search and type in ellie decals and go to people then click this one so it's actually just at ellie decals and the display name is also ellie decals and then um you you'll know that it's her because fourteen thousand followers like basically everyone uses her decals and if you go to inventory and then go to decals if it will load okay then you will literally get like so many good ones page seven she has this dress which is quite similar and a ballet skirt and also this top um so if you guys want decals that are quite similar you can use this dress and then you can use the top and the skirt and put them together um and i'm going to just show you how to use a transparent decal because i don't know if everyone knows so just click on the one that you want so i've just selected this dress and then if you go to the um search bar at the top you'll see this number copy the number and then once you're back in blocksburg let's go to build go to basic shapes hello hello what happened oh and then um click cube and click the transparent one and then just again you're going to need your resizing tool which i think you need advanced placement for so i'm very sorry if you don't have game passes i'm not too sure how to do this without game passes if i find out there i'll let you know then oh hello 
Okay, what happened? I think I placed two by accident. Wait, what? what happened? Okay, sorry, I'll do that again. So you place this down and then you just make it the smallest it can be like this. Um, and then you can adjust the height um, depending on how tall you want it to be. So let's say you want it like this high. And then if you go to decorate, and then and if you type in the search decal so you can find it easier then you pick this one and then the two-sided one is the one that i picked and you can see it from both sides so that you will turn around and then you can see it again because if you pick this one just the normal one you can see it this way but when you go that way you can't see it um so this is only like a one-way decal so if you want it one way then that's fine but if you want it both ways then you pick um the two-sided one and then I'll just bring this closer to me so I can do this more easily. Then all you do is you come out of build mode and then you click onto it and then just copy and pa well, paste your decal code that you copied into the search and then you have it. And you can see it from both sides and it's just like a cute little custom decal. Um, wait till it loads because then it like renders into a better, um, like into a better pixel form. And then when you go back into build mode, now that you've actually got it placed down, you can then adjust it again um, to just like change the height slightly to make it look like less weird. And that's all you have to do. This is kind of pricey though, because like this is 670 on its own. And then the um, basic shapes like resize it already costs a lot. So you'll probably um, have to work a lot using custom decals, which I'm, always, I'm constantly working all the time. Um, but I can, if you guys want, I can give you a, um, working tips video because I think I've got, like, a good routine down of how to make a lot of money and that's why I'm always on, like, 100k or more in Bloxburg now because I've, like, figured out a good way to work. So if you guys want working tips, then let me know in the comments. Um, but I think that's all for this video. I'm gonna check my list one more time because I hope I didn't miss anything out. If I did, then literally yell at me in the comments and then I'll do another video like this. Um, I don't think I have much else to say in this video because I'm pretty sure that's all all of the like colors and textures and everything that I used and um, oh wait I was meant to show you the layout oh my god I can't forget about that okay so I was like debating whether or not to show you the layout because I honestly think that my build is like really messy and also um, I don't know how good it is for you guys to be wanting to build off of it but I will show you the layout now so oh my gosh here is the first floor do not know how helpful this is guys but there you go. Then here is the second, and then here is the third. I don't know if that helped. Um, just, um, you guys can pause that part of the video so that you can see the layout better. Um, but I think there's everything for my town as of right now. Um, I'm going on holiday, which by the time that this video is out, I will already be on holiday. So it might take me um, a week or so to like actually up, like give you guys updated um things if you guys ask me like oh can you teach us how to build this um i might not be able to do it like instantly it might take me a week or so until like i actually upload the a new a new video to show you guys how to build or do the certain thing that you want me to show you to do so i'm really really sorry about that but i hope that this video has helped you guys out enough for the meantime and i will see you all in my next video Mwah! i love you guys I never Something bad left me so lonely And I want it back, I want the old me I'm trying to forget, but things just remain